Hello, my name is Joseph Van, and this is my video presentation uh, for measurements and evaluations, or class HRD 5307, as it pertains to my program evaluation report over a local concession stand's implementation of the new training program for its employees. First, a quick disclaimer. Uh, the concession stand business has asked to remain anonymous for the reasons that the numbers given portray actual sales numbers and turnover rates at this company. And this company uh, takes these numbers very, finds them personal and has asked to remain anonymous. And I will honor their wishes if at all possible. If inquiries must be made as to the identification of this business, please feel free to contact me at jvan at uttyler.edu and we can discuss. Now a little background on the local concession stand. The local concession stand has been open for approximately 12 years now, providing snacks and other game day treats for fans attending all venues of sporting events and is in charge of staffing for admissions to these games and events as well. The stand opened at the completion of the new sports center in 2003 and at the new ballpark in 2005. Within the concession stand, there are two main floor managers that are in charge of all event operations, staffing, for food purchases, purchasing, and food sales. There are 12 employees that the concession stand employs along with the two floor managers. The current managers have implemented a new training program for employees to help better keep track of sales, customer satisfaction, and concessions procedures. The new training program for employees is a two-hour on-site training program and the employees progress is tracked uh, during their training to help better place them in positions needed for events. Each employee must not only be able to follow the new procedures that are being implemented, but also be able to understand the purpose for each new procedure. A training checklist is used to track each employee's progress through the program. Uh, the checklist can be found in Appendix A of my report. And knowing a little bit more about the concession stand, uh, let's now move on into the purpose of this evaluation, which is to measure the effects of the new training program and the new training program's effect on the concession stand's profitability and previously high turnover rate. To measure these results, I implemented and designed the use of a survey for the employees. The surveys were distributed to the employees before taking the new training program, and then again after taking the new training program and for uh, events were worked for the concession stand. I also asked and received a list of sales numbers and expenses for the spring of 2013 and spring of 2014. This was done to better compare the concession stand's profit during the same time period and seasonal sporting events uh, to show the changes before and after the new training program's implementation as the new training program was implemented in the spring of 2014. Also given to me were the uh, numbers and turnover rates for both the spring periods of 2013 and 14. Uh, the results of my valuations on the local concession stand were compiled over a three month period and I have to say that some of the results were kind of interesting. Um, first, the surveys. Uh, I used the rating scale of 1 to 10 to represent um, my questions with one being uh, the most negative response and 10 being the most positive response you could give to the question. Uh, in all, I asked five questions that used this rating scale and then followed it up at the end with an open-ended question for the employees. In, in total, 11 employees participated in taking the survey. Um, the five rated questions that used the 1 to 10 scale uh, were as follows. Uh, one, how would you describe your attitude towards working the concessions? Uh, two, how much has your training helped you so far in working? Uh, three, how easy are you finding it to work the hours you need for work? Uh, four, 
how do you feel about your manager's leadership skills at work? And five, do you think management is open to new ideas and new and their implementation at the workplace? The open-ended question stated that uh, it asked the question, if you could make one change to improve the concession stand, what would it be? Uh, as to the results of these questions in the survey, uh, the means to all answers before the training uh, was a 5.53, meaning that on average employees felt neutral or even possibly slightly negative uh, towards all the questions asked by the survey. Uh, the lowest response to the questions was about management being open to new ideas and their implementation within the workplace. Uh, the average mean score for this question was around a four, which is slightly negative. Um, also, in responses to the open-ended questions uh, before the new information, implementation of the training pro new training program, uh, seven out of the 11 responses uh, were all varying between employees wanting there to be clear job descriptions, a better work environment, or they just didn't bother responding to the questions at all. And honestly, I took not responding to the questions at all as kind of them, the employees trying to state that the um, they didn't feel like they would be heard by management if they filled it out. Um, it could be wrong, but you know, uh, that's kind of the way I took a lot of that. Um, the mean averages after the new training program and the four games worked by the employees was uh, up 2.2 points to around a 7.73. Uh, this means that the responses to the survey questions after their training um, were slightly positive to positive. Uh, this is a huge uh, jump, honestly, in answering these questions. In my data analysis of this section, um, it kind of led me to believe that the previous year's high turnover rate of 58% for 2013 was due to the slightly negative and neutral responses given to the survey. Uh, before the new training was implemented, uh, there seems to be a lack. There seemed to be a lack of trust in between the employees and managers, as detailed in the responses, um, over not being heard or listened to uh, ideas needed for the improvement of the work environment uh, at the concession stand. Secondly, uh, previous procedures um, did not have clear and structured guidelines on food station procedures and scheduling of workers. Uh, I found this through my survey as well. 54% um, of workers felt that they were getting the hours they needed and only 36% of employees felt that the previous training was actually adequate to help them with the job at hand. In effect, the new implementation of training procedures as the concession stands, as far as the concession stands, guidelines and procedures, scheduling of new empo of employees, uh, and increased communication between employees and managers has produced a higher rate of satisfaction for the workers, and improved, and that in effect has provided an improved retention rate um, by about 50% for 2014 over 2013's numbers. Um, a full finding of these results, uh, my survey can be found in my report as well under the survey section, um, results and uh, data analysis. Now as to the effects of the training on the bottom line, the concession sales. In the spring of 2013, the net profit of sales was around $16,377. Uh, in the spring of 2014, the net profit of sales was 26801 the major differences in these two numbers from uh, comes from the gap in the concessions purchased. Uh, concessions purchased represent the total number uh, of money being spent on buying concession food from the vendors to use in the concession stand. Uh, this gap margin in this section was around 73% in the difference between the two years. Uh, the change in the lower cost of purchasing for 2014 was mainly due 
to um, the new training implementations and guidelines and procedures for ordering food from vendors and keeping track of the inventory in the concessions uh, area. Uh, full results for this section can also be found in my report uh, under the results page and uh, the data analysis for the concessions food bottom line. Uh, the evaluation, this evaluation provided a lot of uh, surprising results to me. Um, to start, I didn't really expect to see such a uh, big, big result in the implementation of, a, of something as simple as a new ordering and stocking procedure. Um, you know, the fact that this margin was increased by nearly 73% um, seems kind of astonishing to me. Um, finally, you know, I, w I was not shocked to see this kind of turnaround in the high turnover rate by uh, this new implementation of uh, training procedures and stuff. Some of the main factors in high turnover rates are lack of training, job stress, poor relationships with managers, um, all of which are discussed by Dr. Powell in his research over the top five reasons for employee turnover. Turnover uh, Before the new procedures and job training, there seemed to be a real lack of task inventory amongst the employees. Only job descriptions, uh, as talked about by, Dr. by uh, Swanson in his book, Analysis for Improving Performance, the difference between the two is a job description defines the boundaries of a job, while a task inventory highlights the discernible part or task of the job or work process. With these new set of guidelines and procedures to highlight the task inventory of the jobs, it's kind of easy to see how the survey results have increased in 2000 for the 2014 season after the new training procedures were put into place and also how this results in a lower turnover rate. The turnover rate for 2013 spring season was 58 percent and the turnover rate for the spring of 2014 was 8 percent which is a difference of about 50 percent. That's quite large. Um, I'd, that concludes my report. I'd like to say thank you for your time and listening to my presentation on the local concession stand. And I'd also like to say thank you, Dr. Wang, for this class. It was very well taught and insightful, and I believe I learned much from taking this class from you. Thank you, and goodbye.